What's poppin' people? Before we ended, shit was about to get real. So let's go ahead and walk into this building. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Ground floor to top floor. I can't go anywhere else. No. Hey, yo, bitch. So that's why if you could tell us where Heather is, um, I would really appreciate. Um, hey, are you even listening? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, so would you um please to tell me? Sure. Okay. He ain't gonna say shit. <laughs> um. Do you think he's just thinking about the answer or? Um, excuse me? Yeah? Could, could you tell us now? Uh-huh. What's wrong with this man? Um, boom! Got him? Dumb noob. Alright, so what are you doing in my house? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, he was playing, <laughs> he was playing video games! Ah! <laughs> I... Please tell us what he please tell us where Heather is now. Oh, that dunno. Hey, don't just shrug this off. Why did you lie before? You said you didn't know a girl with pink hair, but you definitely know who Heather is. You're supposed to be taking care of her. Oh yeah? Says who? I never said anything about taking care of her. I just said I'd watch over her. Look, I'll tell you what. There's no need to mince words here. We already know what size we're each on, so I'll make you a deal. Give me the ruby ring, and I'll tell you where Heather is. The ri that ring? Well, that's important to Heather. Is it more important than her life? But what? Not good enough? Then how about I give you this HM too? It's for Waterfall. Hey, Progress in the story! You were looking for that, weren't you, Shofu? Get me the ring, and you get this and the girl. Good deal, right? We both win. What'll it be? So, um, I'm pretty sure Charlotte just told me not to negotiate with terrorists. We don't negotiate with terrorists. You ain't getting shit, son. I know that you want my ruby ring, and I know that you know that I know that you know that I want Heather in the HM. But if I say yes, you get what you want. So I don't want that. You don't get my ruby ring. We just went over this. I have been educated on the ways to handle situations like this. So you ain't getting shit! Huh? But Shofu, what about Heather? We really need to find her. I, um, I have a really bad feeling about this. Please? Nope. This could be Heather's life. Please reconsider. Just give him the ring now. We'll figure it out later, okay? Nope. Oh, you already have that ring? I wasn't informed of that. You just snitched on me! You just told him that I have the ruby ring. Why you snitch? See, this, you about to get, oh, oh, you about to get your fucking ass beat when we leave, all right? Snitches get stitched. I got goons everywhere, all right? Change your plans then. Ah, let me go, please. Sure, as soon as Shofu gives me the ring. No, Heather, no waterfall. The ring or her life? Pick one. Now, or I'll end her. You, that means you just. See, Charlotte is smart. If you kill her, you ain't getting the ring. You're not getting what you want, regardless of if you kill her or not. Being a logical man, you can take, you can kill her fucking ass. I don't give a damn. I know you're not gonna kill her because that means you're not gonna get the ring. You can't forcefully take it from me because my Pokemon goons will beat your ass, son. <laughs> what? I didn't, wow. I can't believe you just get, man. That's what you fucking get for snitching. You almost, see, instant karma. You snitch, you, she, she snitched on me and almost died. Heh, <laughs> that was almost too easy, your mistake. Well, I'm outie, nice knowing you. But wait, but, but, but what about Heather? Didn't you hear me, kid? Deal's off, tough. Maybe if you look long enough, you'll find her. Oh, well, <laughs> just kidding. What's that supposed to mean? You really wanna know? Truth is, I have that brat locked up. Good. Yeah, turns out that fucking little snitch was running around giving out food to everyone in the city. See, you probably already know this, but I'm with this little party called Team Meteor. So when the mountain got blocked off, I got some orders from them to hide all of the city's food. You heard of fasting, right? Monks don't eat for days to cleanse themselves or some bullshit. Well, it's like that. If everyone in the city starves, but this world will be cleansed too. Jesus Christ. This man ain't playing, people. Anyway, that bitch was getting in the way. No one's gonna starve to death if they're being given food. So I locked her up and fixed the problem. All business, don't hold it against me. 
or do. I actually don't give a fuck. That's awful. I can't forgive you. Oh no, she won't forgive me. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Look, I don't care about you any more than I care about Team Meteor's ideas. Huh? Then why? I'm just using them. I'll do what they need and guarantee myself a nice co cozy place in the new world. Don't have to deal with anyone except a, a few choice honeys. Total freedom for life. Your little friend seemed to be interested in the same deal. No rules? She came right into my roof. Makes it e all the, makes it all the easier to keep her from for meteors, so that's that. Anyway, can't stay in chit chat forever. I've got things to do, people to meet, worlds to end. Why am I not like stopping this man? You can't just take my ruby ring and then leave. Like, why is why am I such a bitch ass nigga right now? Like, can I please ex exert some fucking force? Like, I'm just standing there looking at the couch. Like, why am I looking at the couch? First of all, he's not even over there. He's over here. Like, like, bruh, what are you doing? That's not me. Because if that was me, we would have threw hands already. I would have been sent on my damn swamper and earthquake your damn house to the ground. But instead, my damn character is looking at the couch. Like, what are you doing right now? Nobody's even sitting there. There's nobody sitting there. Like, wh why? Ugh. You know, typical Sunday. See you, nerds. <clears throat> oh, no. What do, now what do we do? How are we supposed to find Heather if he won't even help us? I don't know. I think of something. There has to be something somewhere that can lead us to her. I'm sure there's going to be a fucking puzzle that I'm going to mess up on a thousand times. Yeah. All right. Let's just press A on everything in the house, shall we? I'm going to press A on everything. Here's the fucking couch you wanted to stare at the entire time. You bastard. Maybe it's this book. Nope. What is this? Oh, it looks, doesn't look like there's anything here that I could find. What am I supposed to be doing here? I really have no idea. I thought I would like press A on everything and try to see if. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I would be doing. Maybe I'll just walk outside then. That was some bullshit, yeah. <laughs> that was some bullshit. That was all bullshit. Okay, let's think. There has to be some way to find her, right? He said she was locked up, right? So where could he poss where could someone possibly hide a girl in a place like this? Shelly? Eep! It's Blake! He's still here! I'm not Blake. It's me, Cal. C Cal? Oh no, no. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm... Shelly, wait. <clears throat> yeah? You don't have to be scared. I'm sorry for what happened before. I let my anger get the better of me and hurt you. No, I was really stupid. I'm not gonna say them damn stutters, that's annoying. I should've known that you um weren't really like me. I spent my whole life trying to please my brother, so I um, just assumed it was the same for you, and I would rather not please him, but yes, I've always lived in Blake's shadow. However, that doesn't excuse for what I've done. I've made a lot of mistakes. Nothing I do will change the past, and I don't expect your forgiveness. So I'm just going to focus on what I can fix, the future. And if you stand me, and if you can stand me, I would greatly appreciate your help. Um, of, of course. But, um, just one question. What is it? Why is your hair blue? Pfft. Here I thought it was a serious question. I was serious, but it's, um, it's, my hair is naturally this color. Well, not quite this color, but I had it dyed back kind of close. Huh? Why? It seemed like the thing to do, that's all. I spent most of my life trying to do everything in response to my brother. Dyed my hair to be different from his, raised fire types to beat his pre pre preference for ice, tried to join both Reborn League and Team Meteor to one-up him. But wait, you what? Ugh, you didn't even know about that. Don't be alarmed, I've left that behind. I was a, wa I was a walking mistake. I was trying to be someone better than my brother, when I should have just been trying to be myself. So I'm fixing that. Going back to myself. Having my natural hair color is weird, but 
It's fine. Blue flame burns even hotter. Hehehe. <laughs> that also means that I need to stop Team Meteor as much as anyone else. So don't be afraid, alright? Uh, alright, if you say so. Thanks. Now look, I'm guessing you were just speaking to my brother. Yeah, he locked up Heather and we need to find her. That's not all. I overheard him radioing Team Meteor for backup. They're dispatching an air unit here and right now. Huh? Oh no! He's trying to give them the ring! Right. I don't think I need to explain why that's not a good thing. What do we do? We still have to find Heather and stop him at the same damn time! Stopping Heather! Well, no. Finding Heather! Stopping! You know, never mind. I fucked it up. <laughs> Right, your friend with the Salamence. Didn't you also say that she was in the Elite Four or something? Yeah, you remembered. How does a girl that young get into something like that? Huh? Um, well, I think I remember that her mom used to be a part of it a long time ago. So I guess she proved she was good enough to take over? Hmm, we can use her. She can fly out and deal with the air unit, leaving us, the free, leaving us free to chase down Blake. We get him, take the ring, and then when the air unit comes in late thanks to Heather, I'll take out Solar Solaris myself. I owe him a thing or two. But we need Heather for that. Yeah, I have a feeling I know where she is. You do? I grew up in this place too, so I know a thing or two about it. Check out Blake's apartment. Look very carefully. There should be a hidden passage of some kind. But really? That, that's what I was looking for. Ha! <laughs> that's crazy! <clears throat> Excuse me. We, we used it a lot when meeting with Team Meteor, but I bet he's changed the security on it since then. So I'll leave that to you two. In the meantime, I'm going after Blake. I'll need to slow him down. Are you both clear? Investigate Blake's room and, to, and find the hidden passage. Let's go. Time is short. Let's do it. It'd be cool if there was like a time a time limit on, on some uh, missions like this. And like if you messed up, it started over or something. So Heather is supposed to be locked up here somewhere. If what Cal says is true, there must be a way, some way to open a secret passage. Just like in a mystery novel. Okay, let's start looking. This is exactly what I was doing before. A CD popped out of the console. Got the program disc. Found the head of a key. Didn't I just find the key? Oh, okay. See, this is what I tried to do earlier. This is kind of cool. Three. Oh, this is one. Six. It's blank except for one page. Green. I feel like I should write this down. Let me write this down real quick. I'll put my notepad up. <coughs> Just in case. It does not hurt at all to write this down. And there goes my phone. Full of food, but nothing else suspicious. Piece of paper is sticking out from between the two books. Alright, so this is five. I mean, it's just five and a bunch of asterisks. <laughs> Alright. Found a coin. Found a handle of a key. Noise! Completed key. Alright, so this one says eight. Writing all this down. I'm sure it's just the. Okay, you know what? Hold on, let me see. Let's do this. Still nothing. Computer monitor, no input from source. <laughs> Peter Tower. This is three. <laughs> That's funny. Amethyst is funny, man. It's 
There's a power cable sitting in the cabinet, but nothing suspicious. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Got the power cable. Looks dumb. So what do I do now? I can't, I can't look at the TV. I think I looked at everything already. Didn't I? to look at. Nothing here. Three coins. Hmm. I don't know what else to look at. I looked at pretty much everything. Hmm. Let me think for a second. I pretty much looked at everything. Should I just leave? Hmm. I don't know what to do. Look at the walls. I don't know what else to do, so I'm just gonna... I don't know if there's anywhere that I haven't looked... <coughs> Excuse me. That I haven't looked at yet. I really don't know what to do. I don't get it. I pretty much looked at everything already. the table oh, you said green green hmm. I don't know what else to look at man hmm. oh, okay hey I was looking through this bookshelf and found something look at this so I think I have the full password now. Hmm. Okay, so it's green. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write this down, hold on. Green, five, zero, eight, S, W, N, E, South, I'm assuming these are directions. It's southeast, northwest. Okay, cool. Do you think it means something? I'm sure it means something. Where can I enter this? Now that I have this information, what do I do? There we go. There we go. Okay. That's five. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to. Hmm. Southwest? Is it like. Let me think. Southwest is probably going to be. Let me, try, let me try this. Let me try this. Let me, let me try my theory. Northeast.
I really don't know. <clears throat> hmm. Right, let me try something. So this tree is three, the one next to me, according to my paper, Southwest. This is the tree actually at Southwest and it had a three on it. Um, what else? Northeast. Okay, Southeast was the other one. So that's gonna be six, right? The first one was one. No, hold on. Shit, hold on. I gotta check this one. No, that's one. Northeast. That's northeast. Okay, so I got that one. Wait, no. Four. Okay, so I think... Northeast is gonna be one, excuse me, and the last one's gonna be four. Hey, bruh, that took me so long to figure out. <laughs> Holy shit, it took me like a good 15, 20 minutes to figure out. Jesus Christ. All right, so, because it took me so long to figure out, normally I don't really cut anything out of these videos, but that took me a really long time, so I'm gonna cut like, you guys are gonna see a skit, pretty much. You guys are gonna see a skit. So where am I going now? Jesus Christ, dude. I never would've... <laughs> That's clever as fuck. Shelf, look! You found it! Huh? I feel like we should have been looking for a door with a number 9 on it or something. That's weird. Anyway, let's go. Have this waiting for us. Perfect place to save the game, people. We'll be back later with another episode. You feel me? You dig me? You better dig me. Alright, I'm out of here. Bye! <laughs>